Hi, I am Dr. Rajshekar Mysur from Chirag Hospital and Institute of Proctology, J.P. Nagar 2nd Phase, Bangalore. I am the chairperson and working as a, a colorectal surgeon for the past 25 years at the same place. Diverticulitis. Diverticular. First, let us understand what is diverticular. The intestines are uh, made of three layers. One is an internal lining membrane called mucous membrane and uh, there is a, an outer lining membrane called serosa. In between these two, there are two la- small thin layers of muscles which will make the intestines move. So sometimes what happens between these muscle fibers, there will be a gap develops and the internal lining membrane enters into that gap. Then they are called diverticula. So diverticula are caused by because of the pressure inside the intestines, either because of chronic constipation or gaseous distension for long periods that can force the intestinal musculature muscles to split. And then the lining membrane enters into it and forms small pouches called diverticula. So diverticula are seen in many times and the diverticula per se need not be treated. But when they get infected, sometimes motion enters into that causes irritation and it gets infected. Then it can cause problems and it can cause perforation of the intestine or hole in the intestine causing dangerous complications. Or there may be abscess formation or there may be bleeding from the diverticula. So when there is an issue with the diverticular causing diverticulitis, causing problems, then accordingly we treat. Initially we treat with conservative management and then we do colonoscopy and other investigations to locate the diverticula and see how best we can treat it. Many of them can be treated in the initial phases by medical management. If there are too many and then if they are causing recurrent problems, then we do surgery to remove those areas.